away from the first game of week three, will it be win number one for Cleveland? We've got your Thursday night look ahead, straight ahead on NFL Total Access. With Scott Hansen, I'm Lindsey Rhodes. Oh, yeah, Jets and Browns will talk that a lot. But first, a day after tweeting out the words, trade me, one of the best players in the NFL didn't show up to work. What does that mean for Sam Darnold? Well, for Sam, it means that he's got to train his eyes to find the Mike linebacker. You mentioned Greg Williams. Their offensive line to be physical. This is not a bad offensive line. Mike sitting next to Sean O'Hara. He's over here shaking his head as he looks at that video. He's going to show us what he sees when he watches that Giants tape a little bit later on in the show. Thank you. Russell Wilson, he, he's trying to do too much almost. Well, that's actually what Pete Carroll said today. He thought that Russell was over trying in this game. Uh, Seahawks home this week against the Cowboys. You know how many sacks they have? How many? Nine. Social blitz now. And while we are on the subject of justice, this just isn't right. When I say Fitz magic, what do you think of? Hey, Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Beer. Exactly. So an NFL beer. player filed a trademark application for the term Fitzmagic today. It has to have been Ryan Fitzpatrick, right? No. Wait a minute. Minka Fitzpatrick has filed a trademark <laughs> for the term Fitzmagic. Right. His mom says that he's been called that since high school, but we don't call you that. Don't nobody say, guys, we're not done yet. We have a lot to improve upon. We're going to get better. And with that in mind, we bring in Cynthia Freeland, who is here to game theory some of the undefeateds here. How about I throw you a 2-0 and team, and you tell me what you think they're working on this week. You got it. The Denver Broncos. Okay, so it's not a surprise that their, dom their dominant defense is still dominant, especially against the pass and I think maybe we're all a little surprised that their running backs doing so well but the one area they really need to improve is to keep Case Keenum away from pressure he's okay. already thrown two picks under pressure I'm on the road yet either that's something we want to see on that team how about staying in the AFC West the Kansas City Chiefs the offense looks great I'm assuming well, you're not going there yeah no I'm not going there yeah <laughs> their offense is special their play caller special and that rookie quarterback is lighting it up he's scoring a ton of points which means they really need to improve their pass defense if we did a, a blind test the average NFL fan if I said list all the undefeated teams they probably wouldn't say the Miami Dolphins this is a quiet 2 and O team that still wants to get better yeah so the, the the reason that you say that is probably because we don't think of their defense as being dominant mm -hmm. they're adaptive they've done well in both weeks but they need to play complementary football and doing that the offense needs to keep Ryan Tannehill away from third and six third and long do it who was the last undefeated team last year Ooh, last undefeated team last year the Rams Rams incorrect Kansas City Chiefs actually okay but they okay. only started five and oh yeah just shows you how tough it is to try and stay uh, perfect in the NFL Cynthia thank you good to see